So my average working days is uh, Monday I wake up at 4 o'clock early in the morning. So quarter past 4, probably then I arrived to the office and we put some, all the, the vegetables and the, the equipment which we are using, then we take it to Oshipenas so that we can start preparing the food. Around three years ago, we had to decide on a social responsibility project which would demonstrate that we wanted to give something back to the community that supports us. And we looked at various options and eventually we decided that a school feeding scheme might be the best suitable one because the need is so big. So we are non-profit organizations. So we met with the Lesejo, the Chief Executive Officer of Lesejo. They were looking for organizations which can do their social responsibility on their behalf. Our roads crossed with that of the Life Change Center and that is exactly what they do. They try to change lives and they have the infrastructure, uh, the staff to do it and so our role is basically to supply the money. And at the moment we're donating something like 20,000 million dollars every month. We have now a philosophy that helping the mother and the child at the same time. So we ask the communities, so probably they are 21 each big 200 fat cake. So every man Wednesday then they will come with their fat cake. We count them after we count them and then we pay them, and this is all the, the fund coming from Lesejo. We are situated in an area in Vinduk where the people are mostly living in sandy towns in very harsh conditions. I'm telling you that you won't believe some children, they doesn't get a breakfast. Parents are unable to feed their kids. In they are unemployed. The few ones who are employed, they are domestic workers. And we also experience at school that when the learners come early morning and they don't have a, a good nutrition diets. So an empty stomach is an empty mind. Uh, the main impact which I have seen is that now that we start with afternoon classes, they have now something to eat so that they'll be able to stay here up to 3.30, otherwise then they will have nothing. Usually they come to school with no pocket money, no lunch box, but now during that break time then they can have something to eat. The attendance is quite, it has improved, especially uh, in our small younger junior grades from 8 to, to, to 10. And also during the afternoon extra classes that we organize, mostly for grade 10 and grade 12 students, there has been an improvement in attendance from the learners in such activities. Children that, that uh, uh, know that there is a school feeding scheme, they attend school more regularly. And once they are at the school, the attention span is much longer than those kids who, who have to work on an empty stomach. With a message for me, I will just say to the work which Lesejo is doing, it is marvelous, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. Uh, the only thing I can share with Lesejo is whatever they are doing that is very good for a Namibian child, they have to keep it up without them. Then some schools like Koryankabu Junior Secondary School won't be able to perform at all because we depend on them for feeding these kids. I think education is the future of this country. Uh, we cannot just sit back and criticize. We have to do something. That is exactly what we're trying to do. Thank you for the food. 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 Thank you for the food.